Welcome back YouTube. My name is Ryan and you're watching BroTune. So today we're going to have a little bit of fun with some powder actuated charges. So today we're out here in the range and we're going to play with these Ramset powder actuated nail gun nail charges and we're going to push them out of a 16 inch rascal, Savage Rascal. And we're going to be running these two pellets today. Okay, the pellets we're using today are the Crossman Premier hollow points, and those are 14.3 grains. And we have the Gamo Long Range 22, and those are 22 grains. And we'll see what kind of velocities we get with both of these. Okay, so the first, first round is the hollow point, 14.3 grains, I believe, and the green ram set powder charge. So this is the middle of the road, it's power level of three and uh, they go up to five. So we'll drop that into our little rascal. Chambers nicely. Get it ready here. And see what happens. Forgot the ear protection. That was extremely loud. It didn't register on the magneto speed for some reason, but we got 1,296 feet per second with uh, the low charged one. So now we'll go to the high powered charge. All right, so that was the first one. Now we're going with the yellow charge with the hollow point and we'll see what kind of velocity we get. I didn't forget to put my ear pro on this time. So here we go. Twenty-five seventy-one, and magneto speed didn't read anything. Twenty-five seventy-one, wow, that's insane. Okay, now I'll try the long distance twenty-twos. So I have the long range twenty-two pellet in the barrel, and I'm going to use a green state or power level of three charge, and we'll see what kind of feet per second we get with the green charge. Okay. 1594. So basically the same as the other one. So now we'll try the high power charge. All right, now for the power level four with the uh, 22 grain long range pellet. Let's see what's gonna happen here. Back a bit. 2314 that's moving man holy crap so basically we're in 17 mach 2 territory with a heavier pellet because the 17s only shoot 17 green pellets at around or bullets at around uh 2000 to 2100 feet per second so we're getting 215 feet per second more with a 22 green uh pellet so now let's see what kind of damage it does to drywall and steel and then the, the modeling clay for the permanent wound cavity. So we did the one with the 17 versus 22 before. Now we'll try 22 versus the 22 caliber pellets with the powder charges. Okay, so we know how fast the pellets are going now. Now let's see what kind of damage you do when they hit stuff. So over here, I have three sheets of drywall in the same slot. So these are a touching and there's another one in the back to catch it. I remember the 22 and the 17s only went through, well, I think they went through like six. So I'm gonna see if I can stop this pellet because there's not much, well, actually there's a lot of weight. So it's probably gonna go through and I'm probably gonna have to put more drywall here and stop one. And then we'll stop it with something else. But let, first, let's get this stuff done. The first one I'm gonna be shooting at this is gonna be the hollow point. And then the next one I'm gonna shoot at this it's going to be the 22 long range. All right, first one with the drywall. I'm going to use the 22 hollow point with a green charge, which is level three. This one was about 1500 feet per second. So we'll see what happens. I'll shoot two. I'll keep it on the right side.
Oh, I think it went totally right through. Saw a whole bunch of dust out the back, so it's probably right through. Well, as I expected, we got complete pass through. So I'm gonna shove a whole bunch more. Another thing I kind of want to know is when these are all touching like this, like back to back, is it harder to go through than if they're all gapped? So maybe we'll try that after too. But that was the lightest pellet and with the lowest charge and it cleanly went through four sheets like nothing. So I'm gonna stuff or shove another like, I don't know, I think we'll go like 15 or so because that's what uh, it took to stop the 22s and 17s. So now I have 16 sheets and we'll start with the uh, low power and we'll do the hollow point first then the long range and then we'll move up to the high power and do hollow point and long range comment down below what you think the pellets are going to go through okay so i have a hollow point in there now and here's my green charge drop her in going hot and hopefully i'll keep it to the right again all right, so let's see what happened. All right. All right, so we have our entry hole here. Easily made it through the three, four, came through five, but Nothing. So it went through five with the low charge. That's about 1500 feet per second. And that's a 14 uh, grain pellet. So let's go shoot the 22 grain pellet and hopefully it gets stuck into this side. We can actually find it. Okay, so we have the long range 22 pellet in the barrel. Get my green charge for this. And these are also around 1500 feet per second. So I'll throw that in there and stand up, take a shot. I'll shoot. Uh, a little bit more towards the center, but still very close to where it's at there. Uh-oh, I think that might have went all the way through. There's a lot of dust. Let's go see what happened. Okay, so that's our new hole and easily went through the three, the five. Oh, it went through six, seven. I think it's in there, unless it's just a dent. Oh no, it's in there. That's the back of seven and that's the front of eight. So didn't go in but it dented it pretty well so i'll dig this pellet out and see what it looks like this is the long range okay guys so there's our pellet it's mushroomed up pretty good uh but basically it almost looks like a bb now you know I'll wash it up after we can take a little look but yeah it's mushroomed up pretty good all right youtube so now we know the results of the low power charge the greens the pellet grains how heavy they are and the velocity so now with the high power charge how many do you think it's going to go through uh we made it through it was five for the lighter pellet and it's went through seven stopped on the eight or stopped in seven dented eight so what do you figure with another thousand feet per second comment down below Okay, so we have the hollow point in there with the yellow charge, stage four. And I'll shoot more to the left side now because we're gonna see what this one does. So this one's gonna be low and left. Three, two, one. Uh, three, two, one. Yeah, it's stuck in there. There we go. Oh, 
All right, so here we have it. There's the entry hole. And remember this pallet's smoking around 2,500 feet per second. Clearly made through all three. There's the back of it. So this thing is disintegrating, blowing apart. Here's number four, if I can get it out of there. There's number four. And the back of number four. Oh, so it's in there still. I'll go dig it out. Okay, so this is all I found for that pellet going at 2,500 feet per second. It only made it through, I think four, stopped in four. So that was crazy, got less penetration. But now we'll try the heavier 22 grain ones and see how far it goes. Okay, so now we have the 22 long range in the barrel. We got stage four charge and we're gonna shoot a little bit higher on the left side. Definitely more recoil than the 22 LR. Okay, so there's a 22 long range with the high power charge. Clearly and easily went through three. Let's check the back of three here. That's a big hole. So that's three. There's four and five still going. So there's the hole right here. That's number five. There's six. Six is straight through. Seven, pass through. Number eight, number eight. We got the dust and a bulge in the back. So let's go dig this bad boy out. So there's the pallet. Basically just completely flattened out, mushroomed. There's not much thickness left, but it's pretty wide. Definitely a lot wider than a normal 22. And this is how it started out. So that's the end result of that. All right, YouTube. Thank you so much for watching the video, sticking around to the end. Next Sunday at seven o'clock, there's gonna be another video. And this one, we're shooting steel, stainless steel and a whole bunch of other cool things. So pop back in next Sunday and see what happens. Take care, guys.